welcome to the next lecture of development of lateral surfaces in this lecture we are going to see the development of hexagonal pyramid now let's see the statement for hexagonal pyramid a regular hexagonal pyramid of side of base 30 mm and height 60 mm is resting vertically on its base on hp such that two of sides of the base are perpendicular to the vp it is cut by an plane perpendicular to vp and inclined at 40 degree to hp the cutting plane bisect the axis of a pyramid obtain the development of lateral surfaces of the truncated pyramid so here in the statement they have given the regular hexagonal pyramid so that's why its top view is the hexagon and its front view is the triangle so now hexagon is resting on the hp in such a way that its two faces are perpendicular to the vp so here we have to draw the hexagon which has a two sides vertically so that's why firstly i here drawn a circle of a given radius of size 30 mm because the hexagon of size 30 mm is given in the statement so here i take the 30 mm as a radius and draw a circle now here i connect the vertical diameter then in compass i keeping the same distance as a 3 cm then putting at this two terminal end, end of diameter and cut this circle and i am joining this six points so i will get the hexagon of size 30 mm here i drawn this hexagon now as it is the hexagonal pyramid so we have to find its center so for finding the center join the all opposite corner points to each other so we will get the center of the hexagon and simultaneously that center will get connected to the all corners so this is the center o it means the apex o and that o is connected to the all corner points now take the projection of all those points up to the reference line now extend the projection of center line Now give the notations. Now here I give the notations a dash, f dash, b dash, e dash, c dash, d dash. Now the height of hexagon is 60 mm is given. Height 60 mm. So from the reference line, I am measuring the 60 mm distance. I am marking out the apex point o dash. Now connect this o dash to all base corner points. so this is the front view of a pent hexagonal pyramid and top view of a hexagonal pyramid now we have to find the true length for true finding the true length from the point o draw the horizontal line then keep o as a center and any corner point as a radius draw an arc on the horizontal line then from this horizontal line Draw the vertical line up to the reference line. So this is the true length line. Now, in case of prism, there is no need to find out the true length line. Only for pyramid, we have to find out the true length line. So always keep remember that we don't need true length line in a prism. We have to only draw the true length line in pyramid.
okay now here we have to cut this hexagonal pyramid by using an auxiliary plane so for that let's see the statement for auxiliary plane it is cut by a plane perpendicular to the vp and inclined at 40 degree to the hp so here the inclination with hp is given 40 degree now the cutting plane bisect the axis of a pyramid so that plane will bisect the axis of pyramid so this one is the axis line for the given pyramid so as this uh, axis height as a 60 mm so i am dividing this exactly at a distance 30 mm now draw the horizontal line for our reference then take a protractor measure angle 40 degree now join this auxiliary inclined plane and join these two points so this is the auxiliary inclined plane which will cut this pyramid at an angle 40 degree to hp and exactly bisecting the axis so give the notations to these points so this is one dash 6 dash then this become 2 dash and 5 dash this one is 3 dash and 4 dash now we have to project all those points on this true length line so for projecting draw the horizontal line through these points this is Two double dash, five double dash. Project this one dash, six dash. So this is one double dash and six double dash. Now this three dash, four dash. I am projecting on two length line. So this become three double dash and four double dash. So all those points are projected on the true length line. Now next, draw the horizontal line here. mark any point o dash on this line then measure the true length line by using a compass take that this much distance in a compass true length line distance then put it on o dash draw an arc okay so here i had drawn the arc now take the base side length 30 mm in the compass So here I am taking the 30 mm distance in a compass and put it on these points and cut this arc six times because we have they are given the hexagon that's why I am cutting this six times. If it is pentagon, then I am cutting this arc five times. If it is square, then I will cut this four times. Between one, two, three, four, five, and last one this. <coughs> Six. Now give the notations. This is a dash, b dash, c dash, d dash, e dash, f dash, and last one is again a dash. Now connect all those points with o dash. Okay, so here I connect all these base corner points to the apex point o dash now connect all these base corner points to each other it means connect a dash with b dash b dash with c dash c dash with d dash like this okay so here i connect all these base corner points to each other now this is the development of a hexagonal pyramid when it is not cut by any reference plane but here it cut by a auxiliary plane or reference plane that's why i have to cut this developed view of a hexagonal pyramid by using the points now for that let's see we are take the projections of the 3 dash 4 dash on this true line 2 dash 5 dash on true length line 1 dash 6 dash on true length line so take the these projections with respect to o dash and mark simultaneously those points on a corresponding lines so here i take the o dash 3 dash 4 dash distance on a true length line then as it is 3 dash 4 dash so it's position of c and d so o dash cut c d 
then take o dash 2 dash 5 dash so 2 means b so cut b dash then for you e dash then 1 and 6 dash o dash 1 double dash 6 double dash so this is a dash 6 means f dash and again last one is a dash now these are the points p1 dash p2 dash p3 dash p4 dash p5 dash p6 dash and p1 dash so connect all those points with each other p1 dash with p2 dash p2 dash with p3 dash So here I connect all those points P1 dash, P2 dash, P3 dash, P5 dash, P6 dash, P7, uh, P1 dash to each other. Now connect this P1 dash with A dash, P2 dash with B dash, P3 dash with C dash, P4 dash with D dash, P5 dash with E dash, P6 dash with F dash, again P1 dash with A dash. So this is the development of hexagonal pyramid. Thank you for watching the video.